Tesla crushed it in 2018 and 2019 is looking great as well. But what's on the horizon and how did 2018 shape up in comparison to all the years prior? Let's have a look. In Q3 of 2018, Tesla posted their first profit in two years, going from a $700 million loss in Q2 to a $300 million profit in Q3. Amazing. And a lot of people thought that Q4, we would see a softening, maybe a reduction in sales. They were wrong. And now we have Q4 as well as full 2018 production numbers for Tesla. In Q4, Tesla produced cars at a rate of nearly 1,000 vehicles per day, which is a new company record for both production and deliveries. Deliveries grew to 90,700 vehicles in Q4 alone, which is 8% above Q3, which is also an all-time high. Now that was over 63,000 Model 3, which was up 13% from the previous quarter, 13,000 Model S and 14,000 Model X vehicles. In total, Tesla delivered almost 250,000 cars in 2018. That is 145,000 Model 3s and almost 100,000 S and X. That is a 138% increase from the previous year. And when you stack these up, it is just kind of amazing to see how big 2018 was for Tesla. And if you add up every year prior to 2018, you're at 290,000 almost. And compare that, it's just north of what they did in just last year alone. That means the entire Tesla fleet almost grew by 100% in 2018 alone. And when you look at the quarterly deliveries by model, you can see why. The Model 3 has just absolutely skyrocketed in terms of the number of vehicles produced and delivered. And another way I like to look at this is baselining every single model and just seeing how their trajectory is going based on the original date of their launch. So you can see here the Model S, while it is the largest vehicle out there in the fleet, the Model 3 is quickly catching up and has this insane curve, this really, really steep growth pattern, which I believe is going to continue from 2019 well into 2020. So it was great. And there's no other way to really look at 2018 from Tesla's perspective other than great job. But there are some clouds on the horizon, namely the EV tax credit. So on January 1st of 2019, the federal tax credit in the United States officially dropped from $7,500 to $3,750, a 50% reduction. It's going to remain that way for the first half of the year, meaning if you take delivery of a new Tesla in that time frame, you will be able to apply for a credit on your 2019 taxes. This means that when you file your taxes in 2020, you will be able to reduce your overall tax liability by this much, assuming you have a greater tax burden than this, which you probably do. At the second half of 2019, it will drop again by 50% to down to 1875. And after 2019, unless something changes with the current laws, there will be no more EV tax credit for the United States. So let's apply this to some real world numbers here. And if we were thinking the $35,000 base Model 3 will be out sometime soon, these would be the prices you would be paying. Now, when you go to finance the car, you'll have to pay the full amount. So this isn't how much your loan will be based on, but the net dollars you'll pay for the car when you kind of average it all out or you sum it all up at the end of the year, this is how much you'd be paying for that $35,000 base Model 3, barring any other incentives at your state or local levels. This is why Tesla dropped the price of all of their vehicles by $2,000. So the $3,750 was how much disappeared from the tax credit, and they covered more than half of that by reducing the cost of S, X, and 3 by $2,000. So they're kind of meeting it halfway. And with international deliveries ramping up, 2019 is looking like a really solid year for Tesla. And none of this even includes the ramp up in China with their new Gigafactory 3, which seems to be coming along nicely. 
Originally, the plan in China was that the new factory would start producing cars in 2020, but based on the tariff situation in the US continuing, it appears that those plans have been accelerated and the Chinese plant may start to begin production this year in 2019 with a goal of about 250,000 vehicles produced in 2020, bringing Tesla's total production to well over 500,000 vehicles for the first time. And if the rumors are true, Tesla will also begin production of 5,000 Model Ys at the Gigafactory 1 in Nevada by the end of 2020, further accelerating our transition to sustainable energy. So 2018 was a monster year for Tesla. And 2019, by the way, it's shaping up so far to me, appears to be a pretty stable, solid year for Tesla. So assuming they can kind of keep things humming along at the factories and they can maybe even start to, to produce a little bit more, I think they're gonna have a great year here ahead. But I'm curious with all the different things kind of coming in, the headwinds from other competitors, competitors uh, or or some of the other factors in terms of suppliers or tariffs or all these things could there be more trouble on the horizon well guaranteed i'm going to be paying attention and sharing what i find with you by looking at the data so i appreciate you guys joining me here on this journey and i'm really looking forward to the year ahead but lastly don't forget when you free the data your mind will follow i'll see you guys back here in the next one